Silomix 2 is a, uh, one of the foundation products of Ralco. In fact, the hay uh, maintains its neutrality value a lot longer with the Silomix in there. Uh, we don't have the shatter of, of leaves and, and uh, uh, loss of dry matter that, that's uh, sometimes common in hay while it's in storage. Uh, this is hay grazer hay, forage hay. The moisture content of this hay was uh, in the 25 to 30 percent range. Prior to silo mix, uh, we would try to bale in the 15 to 18 percent range and stop at 20 percent. We'd have spoilage after 20 percent moisture. Well, we think it worked really well. We, we put up hay that, that uh, was a high moisture content and it did not mold and did not spoil and it's very palatable and have very good consumption on it. It appears that the sheep that we're feeding it to are doing better than I've seen uh, results from the past. Consumption is higher. We, uh, they're, they're consuming slightly more hay than hay that I've seen that, that is not treated with the Silomix. Never, we, we didn't have any problem with it. It just works excellent. It, there's no corrosive effect on, on the balers that we can see and uh, it, it appears to work real good. I'll continue with it because I can see the results of putting up high moisture hay where we could not get hay dried out good, where we treated hay, well we ended up with really good hay. When we finished baling hay, I was concerned that we did not have good palatable feeding hay. And after we started feeling it, I, after we started feeding the hay, I was really surprised at the quality of it. I probably saved four to six thousand bales of our hay from adding the uh, silo mix to it, where I think we would have had uh, hay that would have molded, would have turned brown, would have not been palatable, would have not been desirable for livestock feeding. I was really concerned when we got finished. I wasn't aware that the silo mix was going to react like it did and, and save the hay like it did. The results they found from using silo mix was the price was not a concern. A, a bale of hay is worth uh, 50 to 60 dollars and you put a dollar and a quarter extra to have a better quality bale well it, it's a pretty good insurance policy to have quality hay so when you start baling hay you'll have a hay probe and you'll test your hay and it's sitting up there 18 20 percent and you're wondering oh should i bale or should i wait till the next day and this way, this way with Silomix, well, you can just go to baling and it'll preserve your hay and you have a better quality hay because it doesn't lay out in the sun and, and leach nutrients. It's going to help most hay producers start baling quicker after the hay is cut. Uh, they're not quite so uh, apprehensive about uh, rain, uh, dew, or changes in atmospheric moisture uh, that might affect their baling time and they can bale earlier in the morning, later at night, and expect their hay to be uh, more than acceptable. Uh, we're here on the Kelso Pro Size farm right now, and I know uh, Trace has told me that he, he's sure that, that the addition of the Silomix uh, saved him more than 2,000 bales of hay that he would have never been able to put up in, in, uh, into a bale just because of the high moisture conditions that were present at the time the hay was processed. In, in general, we, we recommended about a, a, a pound of the product be ap applied to uh, approximately a thousand pounds of forage. And most of these bales are going to weigh 1,500 pounds. Uh, so we're generally talking about maybe a pound and a half wh where the moisture is say up to 25 percent in the wind row. Uh, if the circumstance develops during the, the uh, course of baling that the moisture increases, which it can, can happen on a pretty short notice, either because of changes in atmospheric moisture or perhaps even a, a slight rainstorm, uh, the application rate could go on up maybe to a uh, pound and three quarters or, or uh, a little bit higher. The method of applicating the Sala 2 mix is uh, with a Gandhi box and it's just a distributor box with tubes coming off of it and then distributors into the bale to get a uniform distribution and uh, it's operated with a toggle switch in the cab of the tractor. When you start your bale you turn your switch on and when you finish your bale you cut it off while you're wrapping and uh, it, it puts a uniform layer of uh, the powder mix into the bale. To set 
and uh, Chains Doll. See right here, it was set on 33 to go to to 30 on the, on your dial. Right there, and that's all you have to do to change it. It was baled high moisture in that uh, 25 to 30 percent moisture content. It was wrapped at 68 inches, and it's still standing at 68 inches. If, the quicker you can bale hay, the more nutrients you'll save in it after it lays on a windrow. And, and like this hay, it was uh, not even uh, raked. It, we, we didn't even turn this hay. We didn't even rake it. It had laid on the ground for three days, and we baled it because we didn't have a choice. We had rain coming in on us and we had to get it bailed and, and it, it really made good hay. It gives it advantage to have in the silo mix. It'll preserve your hay for a period of time and if you have carryover hay, well, it, it'll help your carryover hay that it, it'll probably keep it from spoiling quite as fast, the outside edges of it. We've had a good bit of rain on some of the hay we put up early that had silo mix on it and, and I see very little spoiling around the edges of it. I mean, it, it just nearly like it's shedding the water. One of the things that I, I never like to do is bale dry hay because when you take the net off of it, all, you, all the hay does is just fluff out and uh, it scatters. The tighter the bale, the better, better hay keeps and uh, the better livestock do on it. Uh, my name's Robert Stansberry. I run a commercial cow-calf operation in Concho County. We got a lot of rain the first part of 07 and it turned dry in September and we went six months without getting hardly any. Well, we have a lot of Texas winter grass and rye grass in this country and it helps us winter our cattle and we got nothing out of it this year. So we needed some, some good hay to go with our cottonseed cube to get these cattle through the winter. Most of the hay that I got was treated with the Silomex. The quality's been real good. And it was, it was rolled up wet and it still made good hay. It would have been impossible to do it without putting some of that product on it.